unity prayer. My adorable Jesus, may our feet journey together. May our hands gather in unity. May our hearts beat in unison. May our souls be in harmony. May our thoughts be as one. May our ears listen to the silence together. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. May our lips pray together to gain mercy from the Eternal Father. Amen. Good evening again, everyone. You are a good looking bunch. And after you receive the body and blood of Christ, you'll be handsome beyond description. Because the Holy Spirit always makes us beautiful. Amen? Amen. He always makes us beautiful. I want to thank my friend. We have a, a new deacon in our diocese, um, Dr. Frank, Dr. Frank Avril. He was just ordained a deacon just a few months ago. So I guess Frank is what you call a baby deacon. He's the biggest baby I've ever seen. And he's an old friend of mine. He's a wonderful doctor. Frank is a pulmonologist and an allergy doctor as well. And he's helped me many times with my lungs. It's probably why I'm still up here preaching because of Dr. Frank. But he's our, our newest um, deacon. It's been his dream. And Frank, should I tell them about the miracle that we had? I, I prayed over you, didn't I? Was it in Metrogory where I prayed over your hands? Uh, Frank had to remind me, but years ago we went on a pilgrimage to Metrogory when Frank was just Dr. Frank. And I prayed over Dr. Frank and everyone in the group. When I prayed over his hands, <clears throat> the Holy Spirit came over me and I said, Frank, these are the hands of a Catholic deacon. And many years later, he's now a Catholic deacon. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. God is good. So that's called prophecy. So you see, God has a secret plan and a special plan for every one of you. None of us is a throwaway. Amen. Amen. As John Paul liked to say, you are unique, precious, and unrepeatable. Everyone in this church is unique, precious, and unrepeatable. Amen. Amen. Would you say that after me? Say this. I am, I am. unique. Precious, Precious and, unrepeatable. and unrepeatable. Now, would you turn to the one to your left or your right and tell them, you are unique, precious, and unrepeatable. <laughs> You're not supposed to be having this much fun. <laughs> aren't, we're Catholic. We're supposed to be like serious and depressed, aren't we? Right. But, you know, the book says that we are celebrating the Mass. It actually says that in the official book from Rome, that the priest is the principal celebrant, and you, and you are concelebrating with me. So we are celebrating together. Amen? Amen. Isn't that right, my beautiful music director? Yes. If anyone knows it, you do. I Amen. absolutely do. God is so good. Isn't he beautiful? Yes, he is and awesome. Every Mass, we are to celebrate Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. And beloved, in case you don't really know him yet, you need to know him. And you want to ask the good Lord Jesus to come into your life in a new way. And by the way, that's not Protestant, that's Catholic. <laughs> Bishop Sheen said that long before any Protestant pastor ever said it. Bishop Fulton J. Sheen said, you must have a personal relationship with your Lord and Savior. Did you know that? St. Paul says in the Bible that all of Christianity comes down to this. He said... Christ dwelling within. Amen. 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 Isn't that beautiful? It's actually profound. All of our faith comes down to Jesus Christ living within us. And you want to be able to feel him. You want to be able to hear his voice now and then. Amen. Amen. I say every day. And so, beloved, try this. This is the prayer that John Paul recommended. It's only three lines. Let's do this right now just to get this done. It's a mini consecration to the Lord Jesus through Mary. John Paul recommended this. It was written by St. Louis de Montfort. So could you say this now? Say, I am all thine, Lord Jesus. I am all thine, Lord Jesus. 
and all that I have is thine. And all that I have is thine. Through the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Through the Immaculate Heart of Mary. That's nice, isn't it? Let's say it a second time in the plural, because we are a family. Would you say this now? We are all thine, Lord Jesus. We are all thine, thine Lord Jesus. And all that we have is thine. And all that we have is thine. Through the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Through the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Now, beloved, there's not a day that passes, even in Temple Terrace, where Jesus doesn't come down to talk to you one way or the other but that's why the bible says these mysterious words blessed is he or she who has the eyes to see and the ears to hear and so we might need to pray for the healing of our eyes and our ears that we can begin to see and hear jesus when he comes amen, amen. now the spirit wants me to share with you something that happened to me on the streets of downtown tampa you know i was born and raised here in tampa it, is so, it feels so good to be back home. It feels so good. I, my mom and dad are with me right now. This was their parish, my mom and dad. And I didn't arrange this. The Holy Spirit arranged it. Amen? But this happened in downtown Tampa. With my, my Uncle Johnny, he had a sign company, my Uncle John. And as a young man, I worked for Uncle Johnny. He had what's called <clears throat> Sinchet Neon Signs. And we made a lot of the signs around town, a lot of the big signs. And my uncle Johnny, he was a wonderful artist. He would design the signs. And then my partner, Ben and I, we would, we would make them. So uncle Johnny would go out to different businesses and they call it sell the sign. Do you need a sign, sir? He asked him what he wants. My uncle would design it, bring it back to the man. If they liked it, we'd go with it. Uncle Johnny would make the specifications. Ben and I would get the materials and make the signs and put them up and repair them as well. So one day in downtown Tampa, you know, near Florida Avenue, you know, we were on the sidewalks there fixing a sign that was right there that needed some repair. It was not a hard job. It took a couple hours. So we put the ladder up and Ben was my partner. He climbed up the ladder and he was up there working and I was holding the ladder just for safety's sake. But you know how it is down there, you know, in Florida Avenue and Tampa Avenue, th there's not too much traffic on the, on the sidewalks. There used to be a long time ago, but now it's more like all shuttered in front. And you get to those businesses from behind, but they call it urban flight. People just left there. So it's like, there's like nobody on the sidewalk. There's a lot of cars going by. So I'm holding the ladder and Ben is up there. There's a lot of traffic whizzing by about the middle of the day. Not a single person on the sidewalk. I'm holding up there when I hear some sort of faint voice um, in the background. And I was wondering, because there's nobody there, just Ben and I in the cars. And I looked to my left and wait, there's somebody down there, like a, looks like a midget, but some real small old lady is way down the sidewalk and she's saying something. I can hardly hear her at first. She's kind of short. She's a beautiful old black lady. She's like somebody's great grandmother. She was so beautiful. And she was all hunched over like this and she had something in her hands and she'd stop every few feet and say something. I couldn't hardly hear her. She got a little bit closer to me and I'm holding the ladder and I can hear her now. She's stopping every 15 or 20 yards and she yells out, peanuts, 25 cents. <laughs> she put her head back down and she keep on moving and walking. And she'd stop and she'd say, Peanuts, 25 cents. And I'm watching her and I said, who is she selling peanuts to? <laughs> there, there ain't nobody on the sidewalk at all. I mean, nobody. If it wasn't for that broken sign, we wouldn't be there either. <laughs> Just cars whizzing by, you know, with their windows up and their air conditioners on. They can't hear her either. And I'm thinking, who in the world is she talking to? And she gets a little bit closer and it's real clear now. She stops. Peanuts, 25 cents. And I look at my partner, Ben, and I said, hey, Ben. I had to ask Ben because I was a poor man then and I'm a poor man now. <laughs> so I said, hey, Ben, you got a couple quarters? He said, yeah, Jimmy. He was an old Southern boy. And he threw me down two quarters. I said, I'm going to get two bags of peanuts. We're the only business she has. 
So she, and I couldn't wait till she came by so I could, you know, like you love old people, but she liked to hug them and kiss them, the old grandmas. She was so beautiful. I couldn't wait till she got clothes. And she looked very poor, but very beautiful. Oh my gosh, she was beautiful, like with love, with charity. I couldn't wait till she got clothes so I could like give her my two quarters, you know. And I, I'm going to get two bags of peanuts. I want two. <laughs> and I was waiting for her to get real close to me. And she did. She got real close. And she went around Ben and I on the ladder. She never looked at me. And around us, in front of the ladder like this, and she, she called out, Peanuts! 25 cents! And I'm behind her back there. <laughs> I'm the only one on the ground. And then she keeps moving, and she goes right by me. And, and goes another two. And then she calls it out again. And it hit me like a ton of bricks real hard because she was so poor and I wanted to help her. She was so beautiful. And I knew what the Bible said because I was very young, but I still went to Mass every day back then. And I know what your Bible said, that the Lord hears the cry of the poor. Amen? Amen. And it also says, whatsoever you do to the least of your brothers, you do to me. Amen? I knew what the Bible said. And suddenly my feelings all change inside. And I said, wait a minute. I'm holding the ladder. I said, Lord, I know you're in her. You walked right by me. You didn't even look at me. I'm the only one here to buy your peanuts. You don't even look at me. And I got upset because I love Jesus. I love him. Do you love him? Yes. Do you love Jesus? I love Jesus. Amen. Amen. Say it right now. Put your right hand like this. Say, I love Jesus. I love Jesus. He's the best. Amen. Amen. That's what life is about. Loving Jesus. Amen. Amen. You know, I actually got upset at the Lord. I said, Lord, it's not fair. I love you. You don't even look at me. And when I said that, the old lady, I said it quietly, not out loud. She turned around, looked in my eyes with like two laser beam eyes. She looked right in my eyes. She said, peanuts, 25 cents. <laughs> I didn't say it out loud. How did she hear me? I complained to my best friend. You know, when you have a best friend, you can complain to them. You know what I mean? It's not fair. It's just not fair. I'm the one who loves you. You don't even look at me. A second later, she turns around right in my eyes. Peanuts, 25 cents. Like laser beams through my eyes. And I said to her, I'll take two. <laughs> one of the proudest moments of my young life. <laughs> and so I took the two quarters and I, I put them in her hand. And the old lady spoke to me, and she said to me, she says, wars and rumors of wars. They all talk about war and rumors of war. But I, I just keep my eyes on Jesus. How's that for a homily? I said, yes, ma'am. And I threw the bag of peanuts up to Ben and turned around to thank her. And she was gone. <laughs> I'm getting the Holy Spirit goosebumps right now. I threw the penis up to Ben. The true story. Absolutely true. In every detail. Turn around to say thank you. And she's gone. And all the businesses are all boarded up. You can only get in the back of them. You can't get in the business from the front doors. They're all locked because of security reasons. Nobody there. She couldn't cross that street. The traffic's going like 50 miles an hour. I'd like to see her cross that traffic, you know what I mean? <laughs> she was gone. I thought, oh my gosh. Never, beloved, look at anyone with a snarled nose. Never. You just don't know. Even at USF, when somebody walks up to you on the sidewalk, it might be Jesus. In fact, it is because he hides in everyone. Amen? Amen. What did Mother Teresa say? He hides in the distressing disguise of the poor. 
He's always surrounding you and I. And the more we love one another, the more that you'll see miracles. It's that simple. The more we love, the more we see miracles. Amen? Amen. Because God is love. And so now, beloved, I want you to do a special exercise right now. Not a physical exercise. A moral exercise. Are you ready? I want you to turn to the one to your left and then to your right and say to that one, I see Jesus in you and you're beautiful. The one on your left and your right, I see Jesus in you and you're beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Papa. Muy hermoso. Muy hermoso. Now, just think, brothers and sisters, this really is like the best preparation for Holy Communion. Because now you're going to receive him face to face. Amen? Amen. Mother Teresa said it got to a point. She's right here with us right now. Can you see her? She's standing next to me to my left, Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa, what did she used to say? After a long while of adoration and feeding the poor, she said, finally, it got to be like this, she said. Whenever she would receive Holy Communion, she would see the poor. Whenever she would see the poor, she would see Holy Communion. At Mass, at every Mass, in adoration, she would see the Eucharist, she would see the poor in the Eucharist. And at every poor person, she would see the Lord in the Holy Sacrament. Isn't that profound? So you just received the best preparation. We saw Jesus in one another warts and pimples and all we saw him there were even a few ball-headed jesuses here tonight <laughs> amen yeah. and a few gray-haired jesuses too now you're going to see him face to face and beloved if you had ears to hear when you receive holy communion tonight you would hear these words i love you if you could hear the host, and maybe you will, you will hear these words, because God is love, and the Eucharist is God. You will hear this, I love you. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 